Welcome to this week in our collective heads. We're counting down Christmas. We're on Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas, Eddie, if you're watching this Christmas Day. We're down to my favorite Christmas movie, uh, at least this year, because we all change our minds. But I'd like to preface this by saying, uh, unfortunately, this isn't a movie for the kids. Uh, there's a couple scenes that make it kind of ruled out for that as much as I'd as much as I'd like uh, all the movies to be for kids, this one's not really for kids, unless you can edit out a certain part, or if there's a TV version of this movie, um, I would suggest it. It's love, actually. This movie stars Bill Nye, Colin Firth, Emma Thompson, Liam Neeson, Kira Knightley, and Hugh Grant, in no particular order. The movie is an intertwined love story of, of couples, new and old, and budding relationships and, and failing relationships and it's just an amazing story, uh, an amazing uh, directing, amazing cast, all around one of my favorite movies of all time and it happens to be centered around Christmas. The reason that I say that this is uh, not quite for kids is there is uh, a scene of nudity and a couple um, questionable things for the young kids, more more teenagers would probably be okay with this, but obviously screen the movie before you watch it with your kids, which you should be doing anyways. Uh, I I just love this movie it, it, for so many reasons, and there are some beautiful moments um, that that continue with me um, and continue to make me happy uh, throughout the year. This is uh, even even the the down moments of this movie make me smile, and it's it's wonderful. If you haven't seen it already, it's amazing. And it's also cool to see some of these actors and where they went. Andrew Lincoln going on to do Walking Dead, she would tell Aji Ford now going on to do uh, Marvel movies and so much more else. Uh, Kira Knightley when she was just becoming a star after the whatever movies that she did earlier. This is one of her first movies where she was actually uh, you know becoming her own person and becoming a star on her own. I would be remiss if I didn't mention Alan Rickman in this role. He's seen as a bad guy in so many movies, but this role is uh, beautiful, if not heart-wrenching. You also have Thomas Brody Sangster, which I'm probably mispronouncing his name, but he's in Game of Thrones. So again, more people who, are, who went on to do something great after this movie, so it's kind of cool to see them in this movie. Uh, I, I just can't gush enough about this movie, but I don't want to give anything away. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. We'll see you later.